planes flying over this Orange Mound community is a common sight and sound. So too is the sound of gunfire, some say. I can't hardly sleep that night with that corner. When I wake up in the morning, it's doing something. Boom, 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 boom. For the past 24 years, Ron Robertson has called the area home. Police responded just before midnight to Bunton and Douglas, where a man was gunned down, unable to survive his injuries. Crime scene tape went up, with some keeping their guard up as well in order to dodge danger. Every day. Wow. I'm sorry. Yeah. Here's what we found searching the city's data hub. When it comes to assaults, homicides, robberies, and weapon offenses, each dot represents someone's loved one. From May of last year to present day, police have responded within a half mile radius of the overnight attack 266 times. The area has since cleared. However, what remains are medical supplies as well as blood smeared in the street, which we are being extremely careful not to show. The these are just some of the reminders of what happened overnight. As police work to bring to light the gunmen, neighbors are working on ways to bring the community together. It's a sign saying police neighborhood watch. Adding it's not enough to simply have the sign on display. Involvement must happen. In an effort, Mr. Robertson says to see an end to what he feels is soaring crime. They ain't gonna stop till somebody do something bad. For your news leader in Orange Mound, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3.